Hey everybody, Sean Bukowski here. Hope everybody's having a great week. It's a little bit late on the video and vlog this week, but that's all right. Um, I was actually inspired last week about what to write about, thankfully. And, uh, the Austin Business Journal did a had a nice article there with an interview of our mayor, Steve Adler, uh, where he talked about how Austin desperately needs to improve its density. And because of the foibles with the changes to the business code going no or the sorry the building code going nowhere uh, he had to think of alternative methods to be able to do that and guess what he's right he's actually right on this um we do need to increase our density drastically austin has a severe housing shortage and we need to fix that and the way to the best way to fix that is through increased density so this week i wanted to go through a little bit about our the, as i said the foibles of trying to fix the building code and, and where we are now um, and what, what the future holds. Uh, so so we've, we've been doing this, or we, the city council and, and the mayor have been trying to fix the, the code for eight years, nine years, 10 years, somewhere in there. Uh, and it started with a program called Code Next, which in, in abstract was a good program. It, 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 it was going to um, promote density and growth, especially along busy corridors. Um, and really was kind of the, the change to the zoning and the codes that we needed to really help promote that growth here in Austin. Um, but it got bogged down in bureaucracy, basically. And, and we had years and years of protests and revisions and, and hearings and more protests. And so finally, in late 2018, they had no city council had no votes on it and they just killed it. It was done. Um, and in, the, in this, as a result, what they did was they uh, asked the city manager, Spencer Cronk, to just basically do his own rewrite. And they gave him some parameters about what to do. Um, and in late 2019, Cronk uh, came back with uh, an update to the code. The, in early 2020, the city council um, quickly adopted his code. And again, his code was there to promote density. And so it, it was um, at least somewhat what city of Austin needed. Fortunately, at that time, we had some um, fellow homeowners here in, in, in Austin that did not appreciate, did not like the changes to the code, and they filed suit against it. The basis of their suit was that, uh, I go into detail on the blog, but basically the city of Austin didn't follow the procedures uh, spelled out by the state in, in, the, in the code um, and as a result, the vote on the, the to uh, accept the changes to the code were invalid. The district court agreed with them uh, and threw out the votes uh, and th basically effectively throwing out the change. Uh, the city has appealed, but that is still at the appellate court. Um, and obviously we have bogged down in uh, COVID and so who knows at what point that will be heard. So where does that leave us? We don't have an update, we don't have a, new, a rewrite to the code, we have our same old code that's been around for a while, but we still have this drastic need for increased housing and, and increased density. Uh, the city has, uh, Mayor Adler in his article, I encourage you to read the article in the Business Journal, has talked about some alternative plans for increasing density, but the bottom line is they gotta figure this out. The city council and the mayor have to figure out how to increase density here in the city of Austin. And as of yet, they have not been able to do that. Thanks a lot. Have a great week. Please sign up uh, and subscribe to our videos and to our blog. Thanks a lot.